Welcome back everyone to Pod Racing. This time we are on the Fire Mountain Rally, which is very exciting in Barunda. So of course you know those fire mountains are not a metaphor. That is important to note as this course goes through. Fire Mountains. Of course, Ebendicott is the track favorite. I might have misspoke in the last race where I said Ebendicott was the previous track favorite. He is actually the future track favorite, which is now the this track favorite. But we are not following him. We are following Mahonic, who is in fact a Gran. Now his people have often been relegated to thugs and brutes, which is very sad for them because they are quite intelligible people. They are smart, they are quick, and they have three eyeballs. And who doesn't like three eyeballs? It gives you more depth perception, which gives you an edge in pod racing, or so I've been told. Who knows? I don't know. Now, theoretically, what I know about Mahonic is that this is his first time with this particular pod racer. He is unsure of how it handles. He doesn't know quite how it works. So this this might be an interesting race for him. And of course, it's very odd because one does not often engage in a new unknown pod racer during the pro circuit. Normally, one does that in the amateur or even maybe semi-pro circuit. But Barunda is known for its twists and its turns, and if you don't know your pod racer, that's bad. Now, of course, we can see that Mahonic, despite the fact that he doesn't know his pod racer, is already out in first, and oh, he managed to make that jump. He managed to make that first jump. His pod racer has already been banged up quite a bit, but he's repaired it. Repairing it is a good thing because it means you don't crash. And so, of course, he is now in first. He were he was repairing it on those curves. That's a very very smart move. Repairing on the curves, it slows you down just enough to be able to make those curves, especially if your pod racer, when damaged, pulls to a certain direction, which we've seen happen to many a pod racer in the past. That is a problem, but Mohanic seems to be on it. He may not know his pod racer, but he knows how to pod race, which is why even though he doesn't know his own pod racer, he is out in first in front of Ebendicott. And we can see that Mars Goo is in fact vying for second. He is very close. Here we have the fire in the Fire Mountain Rally. I told you it was literal. And we are back open into the open whatevers. You might notice that there are there's a lack of beaches in this because they are going under the mountains rather than over the beaches. And we can see that already in this course we have multiple chances, multiple paths. And we can see that he's just taking the straightest path he can. He's trying to get through this fire. He's banging a bit. Oh, so you can see these fires. See, now the lava is very, very hot. That means that they can explode your engines, they can overheat your engines, they can kill you, and of course you can cook some mighty fine hot dogs over the fire. Now, we oh, and he is now into the final portion. This is a very windy section. We've seen this in other sections. We've seen this in the uh, Annie Boo Boo course where he was the track favorite. They, this is part of previous courses. We can see, oh, he failed to make a curve. That was a very obvious curve, but alas, oh, and he's, oh! He tried to take a known shortcut. That was a shortcut in previous races, but it was not a shortcut in this one, apparently. And he failed, and it put him in third, but he's managed to regain his composure. He's managed to poise, pass, pass, Toy Dampener, who was in second, who managed to take that space. But he's managing to hold off, sorry, not Toy Dampener, Bozzy Baranta, who, if we recall, did pretty piss poor the last one. But in the last race. But we can see that Bozzy Baranta has rallied himself for this race. We can see that Mohanic is learning the ins and outs of his pod racer. He's still banging into the walls a bit, but he's still managing to hold on to that second place. Br I spoke too soon. Who bet on him? I rarely bet on the ones I'm announcing because usually they suck. Anyway, moving on, we can see that Mohanic has entered the second lap in fourth vying for fifth and it's not going too well he can't quite catch oh here we go he's passing mars Goo. he's passing annie boo boo he's passing ed bendicott he's passing no not ed bendicott he told uh Dud both oh but his pod racer he just passed so many but his pod racer is needing is in need of repair <sighs> and that of course is going to slow him down he's taking this jump that he failed last okay he learned how to use his pod racer on the gaps that is important because then you don't crash. Crashing, of course, slows you down. It kills you oftentimes, and your clone has to replace you. But that is okay because we are moving on. Oh, and he has to repair his pod racer again. He is in fourth. He does seem to be going a bit back and forth within the placement of this pack, but he 
manages to remain within the pack, he manages to catch up a bit, get ahead of the pack a little bit, and then of course he damages his pod racer, then he drops back. This seems to be a pattern with him, so he really needs to watch that, and maybe in the next race, which is on Tatooine, he, he might be able to iron some of those kinks out a little bit. But, back onto this race, we can see he's, he's a bit more streamlined, he's catching up to number two, he is passing Mars Goo, he is now in second. So despite the fact that he has, oh, he's going straight down. Now this particular part is much straighter than those other ones. You can see, oh, he went very straight, he went on the lava. It is a, I am shot, oh, he is on the lava. Okay, I am personally shocked that he did not just in, totally incinerate and lose four limbs, but that is okay. He managed to make it through, he has made it through. He is now in the safer section. The, it's just a, so much for safety. He is now in fifth because of his ridiculous turning abilities. He, but, oh man, his pod racer is fast. Again, it's a new pod racer. He's not quite sure how it works, but he trusts in the speed. There's an earthquake. Oh, and it now is a shortcut. Good for him. He managed to take it. The, on the second lap, it became a shortcut thanks to Barunda's frequent earthquakes. But he managed to he managed to adapt and overcome and take that. He took a chance and this time it worked. And by golly, it worked well. It put him in second solidly rather than the fourth or fifth that he was before. Of course, you have to take chances in this. And of course, he is now repairing because of course he is. Smashing into the walls does not do good things for you. But he is in second. He is just barely fending off Neva Key who likes the ice planet, so it is rather impressive that Neva Key is currently in third at the moment. Oh, and he's even catching up to Eb Endicott. This is very exciting. He is up to Eb Endicott, and oh, he smashed into his pod racer, but he managed to pass him. He is now in first, folks. He is now in first. After a terrible second half of the first lap, and a, just a terrible second lap, he's managed, he's managed to regain number one. No one saw that coming. I certainly did. Maybe you did. Maybe the uh, seers of Planet Uvu whatever had saw that coming. But you know what? They're not allowed to bet. So I don't care. Oh, but he he's squandering the lead, folks. He is just squandering. He did not have a problem with this. He is just going so hard now. He is just trying to gain as much ground as possible. He is just not taking the focus and the time. We can see it. He is smashing. He is just going straight for it. He gets feisty when he knows that it's risky, when he knows that the pod racers are coming up onto him, and he is just not dealing with it well. He's taking the inside crook, because again, risky. He is making lots of risky maneuvers this lap. He has the victory, he has the first place, he knows it, but he also knows that he could lose it because of how he's been in the past couple laps. Here he's risky, folks, risky. His this, I happen to know for a fact, his pod racer is not very strong on the coolant side, which means that the lava could have exploded his engines very easily. But of course, he took that gamble, he took that risk, and like last lap, in this same section, it paid off. It, although it does slow you down a bit, because there is a lot more traction on lava than there is on the actual course. So, I'm not sure if that actually worked out, but he has managed to put a significant distance between him he had managed to put a significant distance between him and Eb Endicott and Mars Goo and Nevaki, who is now the front pack. Of course, in the very, very back, we can see that um, Eb Endicott? No, Ben Quadernos, who I was pretty sure is from this planet. But Ben Quadernos is vying for 11th and 12th. He is now in 12th against Sebulba. Sebulba has a very strong engine. Sebulba has a very powerful pod racer. I don't know why he's in 12th. Ben Quadernos, who's also from this planet, I don't know why he's in 12th either, because, oh, my goodness. Oh, Mahonic, he had such a strong lead, and of course now he's just smashing into things. Again, that recklessness will do him in. Eb Endicott is closing in on this final lap. Can he make it to the end? He made it to the end, folks. He made it to the end. That was a great comeback in that, sec in that third lap. That second lap was a doozy, folks. That second lap, he dropped back. He didn't do quite well. But he managed to pull it out in the end. He learned how his pod racer worked. He learned the course. He found those shortcuts. Gosh darn it, folks. That is why Mahonic is so great. 
unfortunately, I did not bet on him, but maybe some of you did, maybe some of you are in some targets, maybe some of you can donate to my ever-dwindling bank account. Anyway, the next one is the Pro Finals on Tatooine. It is so much more exciting than any of the others that we've ever seen. It involves tight turns, long distances, fire. Sebulba is the track favorite. We know how he operates. We've seen him work. We've seen him crash his competitors. We've seen him as an arsonist. I hope to see you all next week. Good night and good luck. <laughs>